Hey guys, this is Brenda from Braceways. Guess what I did with this paint and glitter and stuff. I was uh, busy about a couple of days ago making molds out of the new molds that I had gotten on the last trip to San Antonio. And so I wanted to show you guys what some of them look like already finished. I have not finished everything, but for the most part I have. So here goes. I took the mold, that red mold that I had bought um, at, um, oh my gosh, now I'm trying to remember the name of the store. Uh, not at home, oh, Home Goods. <laughs> home Goods. And I think I showed you the mold in another video, but I got these six little houses. They all are different designs. They're so cute, and I barely finished painting them last night with several coats of. Uh, the caramel acrylic paint and they came out super cute and of course they're going to be gingerbread little houses so i'm going to add the white to them later to make them look more frosted and a little bit of glitter so they're actually still drying from underneath because i did not paint the bottoms of them to be able to sit them on a paper towel so they can still continue drying out a little bit but since it's acrylic paint and it's water-based, it should still be able, it's not sealed, uh, so they should still be able to dry. These little gingerbread men were a little pain. As you can see, one of them didn't make it. It was a set of six. And they all basically ended up getting a, a little bit of a chip on their arm. But I can work with that. I can make it look like, well, somebody took a bite out of it. I could break off an arm or a leg or something and make it look more like they were cookies that somebody was eating. So these are still drying. They're super wet. And I don't know. I think my mixture was a little thinner on these. And that's probably why they didn't hold as well. Because, I mean, they were more smoothed out than these were. And all of these came out. But the mixture to these guys was a lot a lot thicker. So I should have just kept that going with my gingerbread. Okay, so look at these cute pan dulces, guys. Okay, so I had the moles that came with these little uh, pan dulces or um, conchitas or however you want to call them. What I did with the swirly ones is that I went in here and I painted them with a, um, I want to say, let's see, hold on. Uh, I have it right here. Ah, it was the antique white. And then I simply painted the swirls to look like the vanilla the chocolate and like a strawberry but i made this one bright because i didn't want it to clash with the pale color of the pink that i used on the others and on these well see these were glittered just with the plain glitter as you can see and i'm sorry that my camera i don't know why it doesn't want to ever focus completely well enough or clear enough it goes in and out of focus the other conchitas were painted with a lighter color of tan. Let me see. I want to say, let's see, it was not classic caramel. What was it? Hmm. Or maybe it was. Yeah, maybe it was. But in any case, um, I painted in between all the parts that were going to be painted with different colors. And then after that, I ended up uh, just painting the top parts. Of all the pieces that needed to be painted and while it was all still wet I went back and I added white sand that I had um, colored up with cinnamon so you see the little specks of cinnamon in there as well and then I went back and I re um, sprinkled them with more just so that it would look more um, sugared but aren't they beautiful? They came out really, really cute. I didn't think they were going to come out to my liking, but they really did come out pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to be working on these little guys here. I'll see how I mutilate them. I'm just kidding. I'll see how I um, end up, you know, doing them up. But they're going to probably be like on a little plate or something. I'm not going to make these, of course, into ornaments because it's too late to make them into ornaments. Well, not necessarily. I guess I could put a hook or a string or something in the back, right? A loop of some sort with ribbon or something but no i was kind of hoping to see if i could use them as cookies although they are very thick as far as cookies go so i might just use them for decor i don't know but yeah i, I was really happy with the way the can the 
the uh, Conchitas came out. I thought they were so adorable. And I also made some faux chocolates because after Christmas, I think between now and then, or between now, yeah, basically between now and Christmas, I will probably be making a whole bunch of different chocolate uh, themed um, little desserts. And I will try to do some new ones as well. Because I do have a sign that says, um, what does it say? Hot, uh, hot cocoa bar. So I figured that I could incorporate different kinds of candies and little desserts to go with that. And so, yeah. Aren't they adorable? I just love the way the little conchitas came out. I'm in love with those and the candies are adorable. And the houses, like I said, are still not quite done yet. I still need to go back and, you know... Do some little white designs on them somehow or other. I might just paint it on there. I've done that before. But not, of course, with something like this. But I could still do that. So, yeah, I'll just have to frost them up. Ice them up. Make them look more like little gingerbreads. But I'm going to keep them just with the tan and the white. I don't think I'm going to add any colors to them. I just like the way they look. I could, you know, um, paint them with different colors to make them look like they have lights. Or, you know candies on them or something but I think I prefer keeping them more neutral so yeah I think these are really really adorable so let me know what you think guys and I did go to the doctor today and they found out I had bronchitis well no wonder I was suffering from my chest so much funny thing was I didn't have a cough cough I would just basically cough like when something moved in my chest or whatever and I knew I had something because I could feel it but weirdly I don't know if it was really like a walking sort of well not a walking pneumonia but something similar to that but I had it for like over a month so yeah I was so glad to go and get my meds today so I got an antibiotic and an inhaler so uh, hopefully this will be the end of my suffering let's hope and pray guys because I really am getting tired of being sick all the time. So, anywho, let me know what y'all think. I wanted to show y'all just this little bit of video. So that you would know what I've been up to. And it keeps me busy. I love, you know, coming up with these little things. So, yeah, these are really adorable. So, I will catch you guys later. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, uh, feel free to look, check out more of my videos. Um, I'm pretty true to who I am and I, you know, like to show what I do, what I create. And if you're into the same stuff, you know, consider getting my channel as one of your subscribe channels and let your friends know if you know of anybody who might be interested in my channel as well. So let's get to know each other, right? Okay. Till next time, guys. This is Braceways. Bye-bye.